Hello friends, you are welcome again. Well, in my recent video, I promised that my next video will be on power distribution in large scale residential buildings. But um, I've noticed that there are a lot of questions on the platform, on my page. So I have decided to attend to a few of those questions before I make that video on power distribution in large scale residential buildings so actually there are a lot of questions on the platform and i have tried to answer some but there are some also that i need to make a video and add a little demonstrations for a better understanding and i want to assure you that whether i have answered your question on the platform or not i will surely answer every question that is asked on my platform either by answering in the comment section or by making a video to explain all right, so in this particular video, I will be answering a particular question that has been asked over and over again. And the question is, what is leakage current? And I think I should address this once and for all. All right, so in this particular video, I'll be addressing the question, what is leakage current? And then I'll go further to explain the causes of leakage current and then the effects of leakage current. And I'll also answer other questions in subsequent videos. All right, so leakage current is a combination of two words, leakage and then current. So when we talk of leakage current, we talk of current that is leaking or an unwanted current that flows through an unintended path in an electrical circuit. And for better understanding, I'll first use the water pipe analogy to explain and then I'll move on to use the electrical cable to explain. And then I'll move on to explain how that happens in an electrical wiring or in an electrical circuit. All right, so as we can see from here, this is a pipe, a water pipe. And this pipe is supposed to carry water from a source to a place where the water will be needed for a particular use. And this pipe must be able to confine the water in it until it gets to where we need the water for use. But if something happens to this pipe along the line, and then a part of the water is coming out at a place where we don't need it, then we can say that there is leakage in the pipe. Leakage is that unintended flow of water out of the pipe. Now, in the case of water, water is actually live. And so this leakage will cause no more harm than cost. The only harm that this leakage will cost us is cost. Because at the end of the day, you are going to pay for this water that you are not using plus the one that you use. But when it comes to electricity, leakage current or current that is leaking out of its way can cause a lot of problems, more than just cost. All right, so before I talk about all the problems that leakage current can cause, I want us to electrically look at what leakage current is. So now, instead of talking about water and then pipe, I'll now be talking about cables, insulators, conductors, and then electric current. Basically, we know that in an electrical wiring, it is electrical cables that we use to connect from the source to the load. And these electrical cables are supposed to carry the current that is required by the load from the source to the load, and then back to the source. Now, this is an electrical cable. Now, if you observe this cable, you realize that it is made up of two parts. We have the conducting part and then the insulation. What this insulation does is to make sure that it confines whatever current that is flowing through this conductor in the conductor only from the source to the load. So just as in the analogy of the water pipe and the water, this insulation is to ensure that the current that is flowing in this cable does not flow outside or does not leak until it gets to the load where it is needed to perform a particular work. All right, so now when something happens to the insulation on this cable, 
whether in the course of the wiring or after the wiring, if something happens to this cable that results in weakening the insulation on the cable, that can cause current that is flowing through this conductor to flow outside of this insulation. And when that happens, that is what we call leakage current. Okay, so now in a basic electrical circuit like what we have here, a lamp where we need live and neutral to make it work. And in wiring such a circuit, as you can see in this diagram, you need live and neutral to make this lamp work. And as you can see from the diagram, the basic principle of this circuit is that current flows through this red wire, through the switch to the lamp, and then flows back through the neutral wire to the source. So it's just like a two lane road where you have cars going this way and then other cars coming this way. All right, so if something happens to this cable and then the current that is flowing through this cable begins to flow outside this cable, that current that is flowing outside this cable is what we call leakage current. Now, you realize that these cables are connected from a consumer unit through a switch before they go to the lamp. Most of these consumer units are made up of metals and most of these switches are mounted on metal boxes. And so assuming that in this consumer unit, something happened and then current that is supposed to be flowing only through this conductor starts flowing outside this conductor. In this metal box, you know that the anything metal conducts electricity. And so that current that is leaking outside of this cable will start flowing through the metal box. And then the same way, if that leakage happens in this switch box, because the box is made up of metal the, metal, the metal box will start conducting electricity. And so you can see how dangerous and serious this leakage thing we are talking about can be. Before we come to the effects of leakage current, I want us to look at the causes of leakage current. What causes leakage current? Okay, so the first thing that causes current leakage in an electrical circuit is insulation breakdown when the insulation on the electrical cable is weak or when the insulation on the electrical cable breaks down, then current can easily leak outside that cable. Okay, so when we go back to our circuit, you realize that when we are doing practical wiring, all these cables are passed through conduits or pipes during wiring. And as you can see, there are bends along the run. And so during the drawing in of the cables, if care is not taken, by the time you finish wiring, you would have caused a lot of damage to the insulation on the cable. Some of these uh, damages on the insulation may not be noticed immediately. And that is why it is very important to carry out a test like insulation resistant test just after the installation. Okay, then one other thing that can also cause insulation breakdown is aging. You know, as current continues flowing through the wires and the wires age, there will be some amount of weakness in the insulation. And that is why it is recommended that at certain ages of an installation, there should be a total overhauling or a total rewiring of the whole facility. Then the one other thing that can also influence or that can also cause current leakage is environmental factors such as extreme temperatures and other environmental factors that can affect the insulation material on the cables. Okay, so now we can talk about the effects of leakage current. The leakage current in the circuit, what are the problems that it can cause? All right, as I explained earlier, Leakage current normally will be circulating in the circuit. Do it is not doing any work. It will end up being converted into heat, heat that is used for nothing. And so it ends up increasing your power consumption, which will definitely result in paying more for electricity. And it can also cause electric shock hazards, electric fire hazards, and then damage to electrical equipment if proper protective measures are not put in place. All right, so the next question I'll be attending to is what is earth fault or what is ground fault? 
And in addressing that question, I will be talking about the measures to put in place to prevent or to mitigate the effects of leakage current. I would still want your comments on this video to know if it has helped to solve that question. And if it really did, then I would like you to share with your friends. See you in my next video.